Good evening, class. Good evening, mister. How are you today? I couldn't enter yesterday. Yes, I noticed, Eduardo. No, it is a couldn't, but I'm here. You're here today, and that counts a lot. Very good. Yeah. So and I, 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 today I start to do the, the, the homeworks. The platform? But yeah, I'm in, in, but the one that we, you remember the one that we were discussing? Uh, yes. It's still, they, 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 they don't give me the entrance. Uh, what do you mean the entrance? No, not the entrance. The, the right system. answers. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. So, um, which section were you talking about, Eduardo? We were done. But because um, Bersabe shared the right answers in the chat, I don't know if yeah. you have tried. Yeah, yeah, I put it. Yeah, I put it. <laughs> Okay. Where, where, where was? Okay, so we'll we'll we will double check. All right. Three point seven. Okay. Three point seven. Yeah. Three point seven. All right. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. What is today's date? Today is November eleventh, two thousand twenty, teacher. Yes. Today. November 11, 2020, four more days and we are <laughs> in mid-November. Yeah. So time is going fast. Definitely. Yep. And 2020 will always be there for uh, history. Yeah. It changed yeah, I, humanity. I hope that 2021 don't be like this year. Exactly, exactly. I hope, I hope so. Yeah, I have uh, high expectations that 2021 is going to be much, better. much better. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I like to hear that when you say better. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope and pray. All right. Yeah. So, um, do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? Question about law. Right, about love. yes. You guys were discussing love. Love. Okay. Uh, what else did we do? Uh, the reading about the graveyard that the graves have the light the blue light right um, yes so Mister, i have a question yes sir sorry, sorry. go ahead and this is this is the last course of this year good question i'm not sure yet because we finish uh, next week so because of the emergency that we had in 2020 yeah. maybe they push one last level maybe but i'm not sure what I do know is that next year we start January the 3rd. So we start very fast. Uh, because in SAFORB, they usually start at the end of January or the third week of January. But yeah. this time, since we lost a lot of time, we wasted a lot of time, they will start um, the third day of January. Uh, so so that, that means that this is we're not going to have all, all, other course on December. Maybe we will, maybe yeah. we will. No, we will not because we are going to start on, on, on the 3 of January. We're going to be so, so we're going to be no, so, no, so, so because fast. No, because we finish this level next week. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if they restart the following uh, level uh, the week after, we would have enough time to uh, to, to finish one more, but we'll okay. see, we'll see. Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, so we were talking about love. Anything else? Any questions about yesterday? No, teacher. No? Okay. All right, so let's begin. 
Let me see the agenda that I have for today. Okay, um, we were also discussing uh, the passive voice. Do you remember the passive voice? Mm -hmm. Is yes. plus past participle. Okay, uh, so the form of the verb is past participle. And what else do you need to have to make the passive voice? We need the verb to be. Verb to be. Verb to be, exactly. So what are the three forms of verb to be in present? Is, is, are, am. Um. Am is, are. Now, when you go to the simple past, we have two forms. What are the two forms? Was, was, was and were. Was, were. Was, were. Yes. What is the past participle of verb to be? Being. 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 And the continuous form of verb to be? Being. 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 Exactly. So being is the ing form. And being is the past participle. So let me show you this. Uh -huh. I think this is the one. Yes. All right. Okay. So here we have a couple of exercises that have to do with the passive voice. So, um, May I have a volunteer to do the first one? To complete the script, it has to... Okay, I, I, I can do it. Try, go ahead, Eduardo. Okay, to complete the script, it has to divide into sense. It has to be divided. Oh, all right, be divided, yeah. Be divided into scenes. Be divided, yeah. Now remember, when you're using the passive voice, it is mandatory um, that you include the verb to be and the form of the verb has to be past participle. Okay, thank you, Eduardo. Another volunteer for number two, please. The filming details need to... They need to... Be great. Be. Out. Okay, right. so the out. filming details need to be written out. Written, written, written out. Written out. So, written out. Written out. Written out. W R I T T E N. Exactly. Written out. Mm. Good. Number three, first an outline of the script has to be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. With, 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 with ED. With ED at the end, yes. Yes. Number four, next, actors are chosen. Chosen. Are chosen. 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 So you have choose, chose, chosen. Chosen. Next, actors are chosen. Number five, locations are picked. Are picked. picked. Locations are picked. Number six, customers. We are not saying five. Locations are picked. 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 With ED. With ED at, at the end. end. Yes, are remember. Picked. Are, are, so are, are picked. No, not are picked. Are picked. With the end. Yes. Uh, with, you put it, you put it, 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 it at the end, right. It at the end. So number six, costumes. Costumes are designed. designed. Are, are designed. designed. Yes. What is the meaning of costumes? Vestuario. Um, Disfraces. Disfraces. Yes. What else is customs? What is the other meaning? Uh, I don't know. So you say it is a custom in El Salvador for Salvadorians to eat pupusas on a Sunday night. Costumbre. Right. Costumbre. Costumbres. Okay. And what else is customs? 
What is what is the name of the where they the, the authorities they have in airports, borders? Um what's the name of that authority? Aduanas. Aduanas, aduanas. Customs, Customs things, aduanas, yes. Okay. Number seven, the outline. Expand. Is expanded. Is expanded. The outline is expanded into a script. Uh -huh. After the script is completed. Is completed. Is completed. Yes. A director is hired. Is hired. Is hired. The final yes. film you see on the screen. Is created. Is created. Is, 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 is hired. No, hired. No, 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 no. Hired. 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 Not hired. Hired. Yeah, hired. 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 Yes. yes. Number 11. Soon after wait, the film wait. has been edited. Music is composed. Music is composed. Number 12. After the filming. Is finished. Good. Is finished. Yes. So as you can see in the 12 it's exercises, finished. there is always verb to be, and the form of the verb is always past participle. Any questions? No teacher. It's no, it's here. Okay. All right, good. So let's change a little bit. Um, when a baby is born, in El Salvador, um, the, the hospital gives you a document. What is that document? Birth certificate. Uh, a born, um, birth certificate. Um, okay, yeah, it's, well, the birth certificate is um, usually given, how do you say alcaldía in English? Mm -hmm. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. Let me write it in the chat for you. Okay. City Hall. City Hall. Okay. okay, so the birth certificate is usually given at City Hall. What information does the birth certificate have? Uh, the day of the birth. Day of the DOB. Uh huh. DOB. Uh, the, uh, the sex, the name. Uh, the sex, uh, the name. Uh, uh, father's the name. The father's name. Mother's name. Mother's the name. name. Uh -huh. Okay. So who decides which name the baby will have? Uh, mother and father. Parents. Okay. All right. Okay. So... You have a baby, you come to City Hall with the, with, the, with the baby boy, baby girl, and you come with a name that is not common. What's going to be the reaction with uh, City Hall? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, to to no, them, they, they, probably they, 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 not correct. They, they will not allow you to they, use uh, a <laughs> the name that they, sounds very they, weird. They, they, they can do anything. Yes, they can. Yeah, no. Yes, they can. <laughs> yes. <Why>? There <laughs> are right now are laws that that reg, reg, regulan, regulate regulate the names exactly. Well, so, now in these days, because I I, I have a, a a history of that. Long time ago, but long long time ago, he, he went. Uh, 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 I mean, went to a city hall. And he went to register his his boy, his his, his to boy. register the boy. Yeah, and and he went to to talk with the with the with the man. And and the the the, the man say, where I can put the name. Firme aquí le puso. Firme aquí para. I want to say this in Spanish. Sign uh, here. Uh, no. Sign yeah. Here. They, they they put sign here. Oh, okay. He put sign here, 
in the name of of of, the, of, of his child. <laughs> so his child, his child is registered. Firme aquí. Okay. That is true. <laughs> yeah, but that is long time ago. Long, long time ago. Okay. Good. So you know the reason why we have restrictions right now. I don't know if you remember or if you heard names of people that were born. 75, 85, 90 years ago, they had some names that were kind of strange, you know, and, and names that were like, like a punishment to the baby, you know, uh, but that's why they have restrictions now. Okay. Uh, how many names do you have? Do you have one two. name, two names? Two names. Two names. First name and middle name. Okay. Have you ever heard someone with three names? Yeah. Yes. yes. Right? Yes. Have you ever heard four names? What is it? I have heard four names. Really? Yes. In my work. For example, in the city hall of Santa Ana, there was uh -huh. a, a lady that is called, um, he has four names. And in my actually job, we have other person that has four names. She is called uh, Mary Leslie Roxana Hortensia. <laughs> okay. And the other lady in Santa Ana is called Ana Shavina <laughs> Westfalia de Guadalupe Villalta Ayala de Ramirez. <laughs> my goodness. That, it, it sounds like a book name, like a phone book. Yes, okay. It's very, very long. Right. But I didn't forget. Right. I have heard only people with three names, never with four. But I have heard people say, no, I know somebody with four names. So, you know, so. Yeah, it, it's not common to, uh, to, to meet someone with four different names. I have heard Carlos Juan Antonio. That's it, Carlos Juan Antonio. And the three names are common. They're, they're, you know, common to hear. But four names, that's a, that's a different story. Okay, so let me show you today's. I, I have another case. Yes. For example, I have friends who her name is, the last name is Figueroa, Figueroa, De Figueroa. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, imagine three names, three times the same last name. Yeah. You know, I have heard cases with people have like Ramirez Ramirez, Martinez Martinez, but I have never met anybody Martinez Martinez de Martinez or Figueroa Figueroa de Figueroa. So my mother is Figueroa de Figueroa and I, I am Figueroa Figueroa. Oh, my goodness. Yes, but with two last names only. Okay. I am Bautista Bautista. Really? really? Yes. Ah, okay. High five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not common when, when you have a, a, a man and a woman that with the same last name, you know, the baby comes with the same last name, but it's even more special when this woman gets married and her husband has the same last name again, like the case Julio was explaining, you know. It's a so, coincidence. Yes. Uh, it's, you don't hear that every day. You don't hear that every day. Okay, um, can you see the questions? No. no, not yet. Not yet, okay, let me see. No, not this one. Not this one. Uh, new share. Give me a second. So everybody here has only two names. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. Okay. All right. So take a take an image if you want. If not, I will. Send it to you to the WhatsApp chat. Let me prepare the um, recreate. 
<sighs> recreate. Recreate. All right, let me see this here. Okay, move to room eight. And this person is going to room two. All right, so start up asking and answering the questions. Here we go. And that name because, um, as you say, the religious uh, is common that mm -hmm. uh, parents uh, make or try to put uh, the names like that in their songs. And about Arnoldo is because my father's name is Arnoldo and, and oh, okay. they thought it was a good idea. Yeah. Also that it's a... yeah, only that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, the parents uh, used to do that, so they transfer the name of the parent to the to the new child, right? So it's a very common practice, actually. Yeah. I, I, I have some friends that they have the same name as uh, his father. In my case, um, actually, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't asked why they uh, did they use that name. Um, I'm not sure why. They Are you the only Guillermo in your family? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm the only Guillermo, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about you? Oh, oh, Arnoldo says 
his father's name yeah, is Fernando father, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, correct. Fernando okay. Too. Yeah, in my case, you know, Francisco is is the common family names. We have like um like seven or eight Franciscos in the family, you know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, my great grandfather, my grandfather, my father, myself, my son. I have a cousin, his son. So we have seven Franciscos in the family. Really? Yeah. I got a Francisco. Yeah, yeah. So, like it, you said, it, it runs in the family. Yeah, it is the same case as my uh, wife's family because uh, her uh, grandmother decided to name all the girls with the name of Maria and the boys with Jose. So they have, they, all of them are Jose Maria and with a second name, with a middle name, right? Really? Yeah. <laughs> so they share the same, uh, the same uh, uh, middle name or the same? Uh, the same first name in first this case, name. because the first name for uh, the, the boys was uh, Jose and then a, a middle name and for the girls was Maria, then a middle name. Okay. You know, yeah. I have, I have three daughters and two sons. I have five all together five sons, and, well, and five. two of my daughters, their names are Norma because that's oh, my mother's name. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, so it, it's <laughs> like, uh, I mean, that's the least that I could do to say thanks to my mom, you know? Yeah, I, I can understand that. Okay. But what do they think about that? Uh, are they okay with it? Yeah, they the yeah, they don't yeah. mind. They don't mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So they're okay with it. <laughs> There's nothing they can do. <laughs> <laughs> At least for uh, for the moment, they can. Right, yeah, not for the moment. <laughs> All yeah. right. Why did your parents choose that name for you? Mm, I never have, have, have asked them. I don't know. <laughs> so we have four people in this group. Yes, I I ask for for Antonia, but uh, she does. She, she didn't, didn't answer. answer. Okay, all right. So I have some problem with my connection. Okay, uh, do you guys have a family name that is common, like different relatives have it? No, my kids no. No. Yeah, my family, Francisco, it's pretty common. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's an elegant name. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, in, in my in my family, we, we have like seven Franciscos too, including myself. Oh really? Yeah, my my great grandfather, my grandfather, myself, uh, my cousin, my son, my cousin's son. So we got like seven Franciscos in the in the family. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, it's, it's a, a very common name. Okay. Specifically in the United States. So I don't know. Well, so, to, talking about the, 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 this ingen, Ingeniero Gordito, Ingeniero I, Gordito. I, I met this, this girl, this, this, this lady a couple of years ago. I worked for the United Nations and I met this girl, this lady, she, she, called, she was called uh, Baby. That was his fir her first name, baby, oh, just like that. Baby, baby. Uh, hear this. The last name was Baca. Baby Baca. <laughs> baby Baca. <laughs> 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 and when she when she introduced herself, you think she is uh, making a, a joke because hello is is my pleasure. Uh, my name is Baby Baca. <laughs> Yo, it's similar to to name reggaetonera. Baby Baca. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So. Yes, people have some strange names. Like, like in Spanish, uh, I have heard names like my lady, you know, but we hear, here we say mi lady, you know, but it's my lady, you know. Exactly. I, I, a friend of mine, is, is she called, her name is Diana, just like that. Yeah. D-A-Y-A-N-A. -A -A. So right. It, yeah, that, that's a spelling mistake because they hear, oh, Diana. So what they say, how do you spell Diana? They don't know mm -hmm. it's Diana, but different pronunciation. They say right. D-A-Y-A-N-A. -A -A. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I like the name, by the way, but not the, not, not not writing it that. that right. Way. Yeah, Diana is a nice name, but the, but the name should be spelled like Diana, like Diana. Diana, exactly. Right. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and well, you in my case, in my case, my my name was chosen by my grandma. She she chose the first name for her name, and the second name only she likes that. What is your middle name, Janita? Mm, Janita is her middle. Soy la Janita. Oh, soy la Yanira. Yes, and I was telling to 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 Rosibel that I don't like my first name because uh, everybody always have telling jokes about my name. For example, soy la que lava, soy la que plancha. <laughs> for right. that reason, I don't like. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember soy la quijada? <laughs> yes. Uh, she is the, the sister of of uh, a war a war mate. A co-worker. A co-worker. She yes, she is she is a, a sister oh. from co-worker. Yes. Yeah, a politician. Yes, she is diputada. Yeah, is she still around? Yes, in this moment, yes. Uh, I remember that her name was very common like seven or eight years ago, I think. And I haven't heard from her in a while. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so soy la Yanira, like, yeah, people might make fun of it. Yes. Somebody say me only Jani. The, the, most people only say Jani. Okay. Because okay, like to, always how, I how, say I I don't like my first name. Okay. It's the first that I say. All right. Yes, okay. Guillermo. Uh, how do you like uh, people say to you, name you, like Jani or Janira? Janira. It's my ah, my you... name is Janira, but everybody only say me Jani. And you're okay with it? It's okay we, if we call you Jan. What? Is it is okay if we call you Jani? Yes, for me it's okay. Okay, okay nice. All right. Okay. Rosy Bell, it sounds like you have a big dog in the house. Rosy Bell? Mm -hmm. Yes. But what He's kind of, what kind of dog do you have? Labrador. <laughs> a Labrador. What color is it? Brown. Okay, good. He or she? But he, his name is Draco. Draco. But the thing is that there was some uh, dogs outside the house barking. So he's barking. So. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. I love dogs. Mm. Me too. <laughs> Yeah, dogs I have are a pit cool. bull. You have a pit bull. Red yes. nose or, or or black nose? No, I don't know what is the meaning of that. Yeah, red nose or black nose? The color of the nose. Uh -huh. uh, is red. Red. Okay. He or she? He. What's the name? Killer. Killer. Oh okay. <laughs> he's, he's like a baby. Oh. He is so lovely. Okay. He's so lovely that his name is Killer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Everybody loves him. Okay. Good. I also have a big a girl. You have a big who? Yes. You know that Snoopy? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, good, good. I'm 21, and my mother uh, told me that I'm still a kid. <laughs> okay. You're 21? Yes. Yeah, very young, very, very, very young. Yes. Are, are you going to university? Yes. 
What career? Uh, uh, international marketing. Good, good. What university? Uh, at the Universidad de Salvador. Good. And how much time before you finish? Uh, uh, for uh, uh, only one year. One more I year mean, and you finish? Yes, yes. Good, good. So you will yes. finish very early, very soon. Yes. <laughs> I'm afraid to the future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like sometimes, like uh, nowadays, you know, uh, teenagers, they finish high school very fast. 16 years old and they're finished. Some cases, yeah. 15 years old and they're finished. So what they do, what some parents do, they say, nah, you're not ready for university yet because they know that university has a lot of men that are like, you know, so uh, they say, no, nah, you can do something else, but you're not ready for <laughs> university. Yeah, uh, I, I have a, a story about, about some, Okay. Uh -huh. uh, when I started the university, okay. uh, I, I, I was living in Samuel because I'm from I'm from uh, Samuel. So okay. my uh, all my life I want to go to uh, San Salvador to study at the university. So uh, when I started the university, I told to my my parents I want to go to study at the San Salvador, and my 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 mother told me no, uh, you are a, a, a immature. <laughs> and I can trust in you because you are a, a, a kid. So right, I, right. My my first year, I started here in San Diego. So yeah. The the second year, uh, my my mother told me, okay, you can go. You are ready for 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 life. <laughs> right, right. I don't know if Ovidio, you have had the chance to have students that don't have a do yet. What? I, I don't understand. Okay, second. Uh, like in Repeat? My, yeah, in, in my case, I have had students that they don't have a do yet. They're only 17. Has ah, okay. No, because the, there are uh, the, the old students are uh, the, the last, last year. Last, the, the last year for the Finnish uh, the career okay all right yeah so you some uh -huh, they are uh, uh 20 or, or more years okay. okay 24 20 25 okay yeah i had so, a couple of students in the university that i had like three or four of them that they didn't have a dewey you know they were still 17 <laughs> very very young very, very young. Uh, that, that was my case, that one, uh, when I start the university, I didn't have Dewey. You didn't have a Dewey. <laughs> I, I didn't have, yeah, yes, I didn't have a Dewey, yes. Yeah. And, and, uh, and the, the last year, uh, no, 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 in the second year of the university, uh, I had a subject that I I shared with with another career. So that career has has the that subject subject in the third or, or fourth year. I, I don't remember. So the my classmate uh, uh, was was older than me. So my my classmate maybe uh, are uh, maybe uh -huh, are 25 so i i, I felt uh, i felt younger very young I, I felt a kid yes right yeah i remember when i began university i was i don't remember if i was 23 or 24 uh but all my classmates they were like very young like 18 or 19 uh, <laughs> the oldest you know i was the the one of the oldest in the classroom <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah so so oh it God. happens it happens yeah okay is uh leo <laughs> she has a human name 
No, but it's not. Uh, he has, perdón, sorry. <laughs> who, who are you talking about? Uh, we are talking about um, uh, my pet, the name of my pet. Okay, so his and name was, is Leo. Leo, yes, yes. When Leo I was a child, I, I had uh, a pet, a little pet, and we named him um, Kerly, but we, we, were, we were trying to say uh, Curly. <laughs> okay. Because... Uh, he was curly. Uh, mm -hmm. He was a French poodle, but uh, I didn't know English or I didn't speak English. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we call, we call him, him Curly. Curly, okay. Cur curly, yes, but we, we were trying to say curly. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it happens. It happens. <laughs> yes. Just like gyp uh, gypsy, like you said yeah. before, Mercedes. Yeah. In my case, okay. Okay, about number nine. Um, oh. Ask me, okay. Okay, the number nine. Um, can you guess the social status of someone in your country from his? Uh, from his mm -hmm. hair on her name? Uh, I think uh, I cut uh, the picture. <laughs> it's like um, on board that he, that the son wants to use that name. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, because he has he has a reason that his his father is Arabian, so he can use that name. With I don't know. Yeah. Also, that is that is like one form that that everybody use to to, to move your like your culture to with yeah. another culture at the same time. Yes, it's true. Because yeah. I don't know. For example, for us, the Salvadorians, the common names are. All right, all right. Any questions or comments about names? What is the strangest name you guys have heard? The weirdest. For example. Yes, Shanita. I had a classmate in the university that his name is Worldwide. Worldwide? Worldwide. Jeez. Yes, Worldwide. Imagine. <laughs> First of <Wow>. the <laughs> Yeah. So his nickname was WW. Yes. And the order that I say you that, that my co-workers in Santa Ana is Shavina Westphalia. Yeah. What? Ana Sabrina Westphalia de Guadalupe. My it's goodness. Ana Sabrina, what? How do you say trabalenguas? Tongue twister. Yeah, tongue, tongue twister. twister. <laughs> it's a very nice Could tongue twister. Could you write it in the chat box, please? Sure, right now. <laughs> yeah, you, you easily can find it in Facebook. What is it? You I uh, easily find it in a on Facebook. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, tongue twister. Tongue twister. Yeah, tongue twister. Tongue. Tongue twister. Twister. Tongue twister. Right. 
Okay. Um, any questions or comments about names? No, teacher. No. no. Okay. So in the platform, uh, there is a section. Um, no, not this one. Uh -huh. 4.5, 4.6, and 4.7. Uh, do you guys, rem have you gotten to this part yet? The defining and non-defining relative clauses? No, no, yet. Okay, um, the names uh, for this topic, they are literal. Uh, what do you understand by the word defining? What is defining for you? Something, something straight, I mean. Uh -huh. Something that uh, make means mm. or give means to a, to a different thing. Right, right. And that's exactly what it is. Defining means to explain or describe something. Non-defining is the opposite. So uh, when you have the chance, watch this uh, lady in the, in the platform, because you will find these here. So you have the knowledge check, you got four different um, exercises. So let me And we'll learn a little bit more. Stay and find out the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses are used to identify people. A dialect. Okay, can you hear the audio? Yes, yes sir. Okay, so let me. Yes, I can, you can hear. All right. Okay, so you have examples here of defining and non-defining. I need a volunteer to read the, uh, the first example, please. A dialect. I will. I will. Sure. Okay, go, okay ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Guillermo. Okay, a dialect coach is a language specialist. Uh huh. She works. Uh, she works with actors on their scenes. Okay, on their accents. accents I'm sorry. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, so. I, I don't know what to see. Okay. So defining relative clause. So right there, they are giving you the definition of what a dialect coach is. So she works with actors on their accents. So, so that is a defining relative clause. Can somebody please read the, the one on the right? A dialect. Uh -huh. Okay, I can do it. Go ahead. Uh, a dialect coach is a language specialist, but I don't see who that. that? Where I say. Okay. A dialect coach is a language specialist who that works with actors on their accents. Okay, so there you have it, thank you. Uh, defining, they're giving you a very uh, clear definition of what a dialect coach is. So they're being very specific. Then we have non-defining relative clauses give further information about people. A volunteer to read the first one, please. A location. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, a location is a fine place to shop. A sense. Uh -huh. It travels all over the world. Okay, so a location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. Okay, and what deal, is the right? one on the right? Yeah, sounds uh, exciting. Yeah. Right. Okay, and please read the last one. Me, teacher? Yes, go ahead, uh, Bersabe. Location scout who finds place, places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. Okay, so right there, a location scout travels all over the world. 
So when you say who finds places to shoot scenes, that is not necessary. Why? Because if we omit the words in bold letters, the sentence will be complete. So a location scout, scout travels all over the world and, and the information is complete. Any questions or comments? The word who can be placed before travels. Uh, where are you? Uh, sorry, I am fair quarter. Okay, so a location mm -hmm. scout who travels all over the world, is that your question? Uh, if the word who. Who? Who, So right. you can say a location mm -hmm. scout who travels find. all around no, the world. Find. A location scout finds place to shoot sense uh -huh. who travels all over the world. Okay, you, you could do it, but then you would need something extra. So let me read it for you. It says, a location scout who travels all over the world must be tired. So you could okay. write who before the word travels, but then you would need something additional so that all the sentence would make sense. Okay, okay. Right. Thanks. Okay. So let's... Um, you see this here. So we can delete some information that is not related. Exactly. Yes, you can delete some information that you don't really need for the sentence to, to make sense. Right. Okay. So uh, let's do this exercise before we are dismissed. It says uh, a foreign correspondent travels all over the world. How would you transfer all that information to the other one? Maybe a foreign correspondent who writes about events in other countries uh -huh. travels all over the world. Exactly. Mm -hmm. A foreign correspondent who writes about events in other countries travels all over the world. Good. Nice. Thank you, Carlos. What about number two, another volunteer? A web page designer. A web page designer who is a graphic artist. Uh huh. Sophisticated computer knowledge. Excellent. A web page designer who is a graphic artist needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Very good. Someone else, number three, please. An editorial page editor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An editorial page editor who is a daily newspaper columnist gives opinions about current issues. Excellent. Very good. And number four, someone else, a gossip columnist. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. A gossip columnist, a gossip columnist. Who, gets to, who gets to go to fabulous parties, writes about uh, celebrities and scandals. Excellent. Very good. A gossip columnist who gets right. to go to fabulous parties, writes right. about celebrities and scandals. Yes. It's not All right. Good. Excellent. So as you can see, you know, it's, uh, it's just about placing the vocabulary in the correct order in the right place to make it non-defining. Any questions mm -hmm. or comments about this? No. I'm sorry, yes, I, I have a question, teacher. Yes. So uh, if, you, if you have just the first part of the sentence, uh -huh. for example, number one, afraid correspondent travel all over the world, uh -huh. that is not undefining. That is defining. Defining. Yes. And if you add an extra information. It's, it's non-defining. Right. Non right. Thank you very much. Because as you can see, a foreign correspondent travels all over the world, period. The information is complete. That's enough. Now, when you add 
extra information that you don't really need, then that makes it non-defining. Yeah. Okay. Make it's non-defining with uh, an extra information. Exactly. Exactly. So if you take away, if you omit that extra information, the sentence will still make sense. Yep. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? No. Okay, so once again, um, remember that we finish um, next week. Don't disappear, don't miss classes. Um, and uh, I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time, nine o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Have okay. a good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.